Hi, I'm Paul Friedman. I'm the founder of the Marriage Foundation. I used to be a divorce mediator, believe it or not. Uh, that was way back, over 22 years ago. And then uh, one of my couples asked me to help them save their marriage. So I had to learn about marriage to help them. And what I learned opened my eyes. I stopped being a divorce mediator and I got into helping people. Much less money, much more gifts. Because when you're in service, what are you doing? When you are living in God's love, when you're doing things His way, when you're centered in the heart of hearts, your soul, your love, all of your actions that come from that should be aligned with His way, right? So growing your marriage God's way is basically the same. You know, we were sitting around the table last night and I asked the question of the kids and my wife. I said, what are expressions of love? <laughs> I'm probably very different than most people. We don't talk about politics at the table. History. And so we talked about different expressions and we went around the table. And there's different ways. There's support, there's service, devotion, cultivating love, kindness. I can't think of all of them now off the top of my head, but we kept going around the table many, many times. There's so many ways. Well, who can love us more? Who does love us more than God? Nobody. And God is setting the example for us. We're here to live in God's life. Just because we're in his creation, we're supposed to enjoy it. But what happens is our consciousness gets dragged down into the mundane life that is here in this world of cause and effect, ebb and flow, up and down, uh, right and wrong, love and hate. We get caught up in creation. Creation is dualistic by nature, but God isn't. God is one. That one is love, joy. So we want to behave in ways that are producing that love and we want to learn how to control our minds so that our habitual reactions, which are mostly caused not by our calculations, but by our instinctive reactions, we want to curb those. We want to cleanse our mind of these sinful thoughts of anger, of jealousy, all of those and more. You could probably list a bunch that shouldn't be there. And when I say sinful, I'm not coming from the old school, oh, you're sinful, you should be stoned to death. I'm coming from the definition for me of a sin is anything that's distracting you from the thought, the feeling of God being with you. God is love. We know that. We talk about it intellectually, but do we live it? You want to grow your marriage? It's very easy. One, don't do anything that's going to disrupt love. Anything. Even if it seems innocent enough. Don't argue. Don't be in conflict with your spouse. Don't say anything negative to them. Not just about them, but nothing negative at all. Leave all of that outside. I call it the sacred space of marriage. It's a vessel. There's only two of you in there. No one should else be influencing your marriage. Just the two of you. No one knows your business. Just the two of you. Any vessel, if you put in sugar and water and maple syrup and honey, I mean, they may not mix well, but they're all sweet. Your vessel, your marriage will be filled with sweetness. But as soon as you bring in something toxic, ruins everything. So this is God's way. God's way is love. He wants us to choose it though. That's why he gave us free will. Have you been watching these videos? Are you a subscriber? You should be because I really talk about a lot of topics. We have over a thousand videos now. We have um, 43,000 plus subscribers. People are catching on. There's no one else like, like us out there. 
And I think it's because I, and I don't get me wrong, I love psychologists, marriage counselors, traditional ones. I'm training them now, so they're our way, but I love them because they care about others, not because of what they teach, because they don't understand what they're teaching. God's way is the way to teach about marriage, to learn to love unconditionally. That should be everyone who's married, their prime directive. Learn to love unconditionally. Learn to love unconditionally and cleanse the mind, not with a scrub brush, but with love. Love is what marriage is all about. We get married to be happy. Are you doing your best to make your spouse happy? This is how it works. And you know, the people who come to us who are having troubled marriages, and they may use just our books, you should go to our website, or they may use our Ask a Counselor page, and they ask a counselor for advice or a suggestion. They read our articles, or maybe they purchase one of the courses. If their marriage is in real trouble, then the course is just always going to work. And when people use our stuff, because we do it in God's way, it always works. Always works. It does. I'm not bragging. I'm merely stating a fact. So, hopefully you understand now. I'm going to ask you a question. What is God's way? God's way is to learn to love unconditionally and cleanse the mind, your mind, not their mind, with love. Love is everything in marriage. You got married because you fell in love. And you're supposed to enjoy that love though, your whole life. God bless you. Take care. Visit again. Like the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Take care.